Hey everybody and welcome to this video on 5 beginner moves to get you started with the contact style. So the way I've done this video is that I've presented the tricks in order of difficulty. So the ones I'm going to show first are going to be easier to learn. The ones at the end are going to take a little bit more time. I've also made some more detailed tutorials for each of the tricks in the description below. Alright, let's get started. The very first trick we're going to look at is the neck wrap. Just this trick right here. So the neck wrap is essential and it's going to teach you so many fundamental aspects of contact staff that are going to be with you throughout the journey. One of these is that it's going to teach you how to control the staff around the neck. It's also going to teach you how the staff rotates around a pivot point. So in this case, the pivot point is the back of my neck and the ends of the staff are rotating around this point here. All right, the next trick is the Hagen, which looks like this. So with the halo, you're expanding on your knowledge of pivot points. So the center point is here and the ends are pivoting around it. This time though, there is a plane change because I'm starting on this plane here. The circles are going that way. But in the middle here, I'm changing the plane and they're going like this. So you have one circle starting here and one circle starting here. This concept of plane changes is going to be super important throughout the whole journey with the contact staff. So, the halo is a great way for you to get started with that. Okay, the next trick in this series is the conveyor belt, which looks like this. So, the conveyor belt, you're really drilling on these uh, pivot points. So you have a multiple of pivot points here in the conveyor belt and you're going through them in a quick succession. The first one is here on the top, the other one is here in the middle, then you're going from here to here to there. It's a lot of pivot points. All right, trick number four, fishtail. So fishtails are amazing in themselves, but it's also a fundamental trick because you are really going to learn how to control the staff without grabbing it. So it's really helpful down the line because you can then transition from so many tricks going through the fishtail because you don't need to grab it. It's also a great trick because you learn how to control it, the staff on this part of your body. Okay, and the last trick in this series is the steep. So the Steve is really, is in a sense, the bread and butter of all contact staff because you are going to learn how to continuously control the staff as it rolls from the back of your hands, down through your arms, onto your neck, and through the other arm. So you're learning how to control it all around the side of the body. Notice that I also said you learn how to control the staff as it rolls because with the Steve, you are going to discover a new element in contact staff, which is rolling of the staff. In all the tricks that we've looked at so far, the staff does not roll on itself. It's turning around the center point, but it's not rolling. With the Steve, the staff is rolling on itself. So it's like a new dimension. And once you know the Steve, you can do so many things. You can start moving around. You can start doing stops. You can do change of directions. You can go out here to the fish tank. And then you can go out here to the halo. And then you can bring it into the conveyor belt. Oh my god, it's like they all fit together. So there you have it. These are your five tricks to get you started with the contact staff. Have fun spinning. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you have any tutorials that you would like me to do, make sure to put them 